Hello everybody and welcome to the channel and today we're back at it with another video in which we are going to be looking at brand new Lego Star Wars set ideas related to battle packs. These are all just concepts and nothing is confirmed. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First up, we need a brand new mixed clone battle pack. I think this set could be really, really cool and here's what it could look like. I think that this right here would be perfect. A small bark speeder, along with maybe even some sort of e-web blaster, like we got in the hot snow trooper battle pack, except with clone troopers. I think that would easily do it and would make for a very, very good set. But as I said, I think that previous model that I showed you is perfect. We could definitely get 332nd troopers in there. I've heard rumors going on for a while now that we'll get 332nd troopers in a battle pack, as well as these plain clones. I really do hope that LEGO makes another phase two plain clone because the last one is worth $30 and I am not trying to spend that much money. Overall, I think a mixed clone battle pack would be really, really cool. Obviously battle packs are $20 now. So hopefully we do get that bark speeder as well as some other side build, whether it be a little bit of terrain or that stud blaster that I was talking about. But anyways, let's move on to the next concept. And that is in fact the 13th Battalion. The 13th Clone Battalion is, well, this clone you see right here. And I think this could be a really, really cool addition to LEGO Star Wars. If you didn't know, the 13th Battalion appeared in Jedi Fallen Order in the Order 66 scene involving Cal Kestis and his master, Jero DePaul. Uh, if you don't know about Jedi Fallen Order, here's a picture of the cover. It is a f first player just sort of story game about Cal Kestis, who you can see in the center of your screen, and his whole ordeal with Order 66. BD-1, this droid you see right here, is indeed from this game, which is why I think a 13th Battalion battle pack is indeed possible, because, well, LEGO is finally acknowledging that Fallen Order exists. And LEGO, if you see this and you are going to make a 13th Battalion clone battle pack, Please do not forget their commander, he looks amazing. Next up here is the mixed clone battle pack. Here for you I have set number 9488, the Elite Clone Trooper and Commando Droid Battle Pack. Something like this I think could be really, really cool with two clones and two droids and would make for a fantabulous battle pack. Another idea here is set number 75000 and I think these sets were always really, really cool and it would be nice to see one in a more modern perspective from LEGO right now right here in the future. With the addition of the 187th into LEGO, I think it is time that we also get the 327th. I think the 327th could be really, really cool to see in LEGO. It would just be two basic troopers, and if they were feeling generous, with the addition of helmet holes into the clones, they can definitely add a commander minifigure, which would hopefully mean brand new cloth pieces from LEGO. Also, I would like to see a super battle droid. It has been so long since LEGO has given us some sort of special droid like this or the commando droid or even the commander droid, the big smart one that's like $100. In general, I think it is time for LEGO to put out a genuine clone battle pack. The 501st battle pack that we all know and hold dear is not indeed a battle pack. LEGO has said it themselves many times. So it is time for them to produce a regular $20 clone battle pack. It could be any of these things that I just showed you right here, or it could be whatever they want, to be honest. But it is time for LEGO to make this. Comment down below what you guys think, and if you agree with me.